Yo, yo, it's me, it's Brooklyn Joe, yeah, uh, coming back from nowhere, straight out of nowhere, here in the dwelling. Now, usually, Agent Eerie is here to do the little highlights and the reviews and such, but, uh, he has his day off, so I'm gonna do it for ya. If you don't like it, too bad, go to the comment section, cry to your mom. Alright, the first highlight I'd like to point out is, I don't know, but I guess M Matt Hardy, he's uh, having trouble with the firm, specifically Stokely and Ethan Page. I, I don't know, they have some control over him. Uh, I guess Matt Hardy snaps, he goes insane, he starts talking about how... I can't even understand. If he he's babbling, if if you listen to him, you'll understand a new language. All right, that's that's how hard he rants. I th I think he's rapping. That's the thing. That's what is very brutal to me. And I mean, sure they want to have him on AW Doc, but uh, uh, elevation I think specifically and. I mean that I mean sure sometimes it gets a little messy but it doesn't mean you have to insult it like that what's your problem Matt Hardy and everybody thinks Jeff Hardy is the enigma no Mr. Woke broke over here Woke broke Hardy Matt Hardy he, he goes out there all right next got the acclaim and uh Smart Mark Sterling, Nice and Woods. Uh, I guess Smart Mark trademark the utensil. I don't know if I could say the name of this utensil. Scissor, okay. And we all know that the acclaim they really like scissors, right? They. Yeah, I don't know if you know this, but yeah, they really like scissors. They really like to run with scissors in their hands. All right. Um, I guess they have a match. A, a Billy Gunn tries to interfere, and it, it, this is odd. Uh, the the announcers almost make it sound like they're only the only reason they're here as champions is because of the help of Billy Gunn, which is a intelligent assessment. In a way, you know. But uh, why are you burying your baby faces like that? But hey, I don't know. Swerve, maybe he got in your ear. All right, and uh, you're just uh, keep. Maybe Keith Lee, he uh, put some twenty in your hand. All right, as he was handshaking. I don't know. But uh, later on, it shows they didn't need Billy Gunn. It looked like Nice and Woods had the upper hand, but uh, they they lose, a la the arrival, and then the mic drop from Max Caster off the top, and then they get this paper that uh, uh, Smart Mark Sterling wrote up because he can't he's addicted to train marks. He he wants to be Jericho bad. See, not only did he get the varsity athletes, but uh, he also trained Mark Scissor. Alright? And you can even see it on his pink uniform. Obviously, he's trying to get it, he's trying to get into the heads of the acclaimed. Alright? But uh, they fail and they rip up the paper at the end of the match. But I don't... You know, I, I'm no doctor, alright? I'm no CSI, uh, law and order kind of guy. You know, I, I barely know about a jury summons. Let's talk about Jade Cargill. I don't know what's wrong with Tony Khan, but basically, is he booking her to where I feel sympathy for her? Because that's what I feel. I feel lots of sympathy for, uh... Jade Cargill, she she's just out there, 
She got her belt soiled by Nyla Rose uh, about a week ago. Two weeks ago, maybe. And then, during this event, she has Layla Gray from the Baddies fight Willow Nightingale. And guess what? Willow wins, alright? She wins, and then Jade Cargill, she's not having it. She goes in, she sits there, she says, I'm not leaving. Security guards, they go in there, and uh, just hell breaks loose. That's the most uh, sugar-coated way I can state it, alright? I could use harsher words, but... I'm I'm not, you know, I'm going to be classy. Jade Cargill, she just starts elbowing, bashing security guards' faces in. It gets real brutal, you know, but I feel for her. Because, as I understand, Tony Khan is letting Nyla Rose, Vicky, and Shafir get away with stuff. And on top of that, it turns out that she takes Jade Cargill's uh, I don't know, what do you call it, minivan? Uh, no, you wouldn't call it minivan, you'd call it, uh, uh, I don't know, van? I don't, I don't know what you'd call it, but it gets taken, her vehicle gets taken. Alright, like the movie. And, as they're driving away, you could hear Vicky cackle, like a witch, I mean, Halloween is around the corner. So, we can't say... That it's not appropriate, cause it is. Uh, it's I I just can't believe all this is going on, and I'm supposed to look at Jade Cargo like she's the heel. Just bad booking. I don't know what Cornette thinks about this, but Cornette probably, knowing him, he probably thinks all kinds of negative things that I cannot repeat on air. All right, so. We have Orange Cassidy, Roosh, and number 10. They're the main event, alright. And Orange Cassidy, you know, he's up to his old tricks. He, uh, he basically is trying to steal Mark Henry's job. Introducing, narrating, and Mark Henry, you know, he kept his composure. If if I was Mark Henry, if I was the world's strongest man in the world, and this uh, 50 pound malnourished individual who uh, is addicted to being a sloth starts trying to take my job away, you know, I I wouldn't feel secure. I wouldn't. I'm j I'm just telling you the truth. So secure or not, he, Mark Henry he calms him down. He, he brings him back to earth. Uh, Rouge says a whole bunch of things in Spanish that I cannot repeat, but uh, he basically calls them dogs. All right, uh, 10 is there with negative one, and Cassidy, I guess he gave him the challenge last week. He, he told him, Hey, you know, both of you can fight, and you could fight for this All Atlantic title belt. That I have. So it's interesting. They go in. They have a great match. Uh, he did something called a Slim Dog Millionaire. I did not know about this. I don't know. It's a stunner. It's, it kind of reminds me of the Osaka Cutter. But instead he does a, a stunner. Instead of the cutter. Um... It it almost could have been Preston's. I, I I'm used to calling him number ten. It's like Claudio, you know. He comes in. I keep calling him Cesaro, but no, it's he's Claudio now. All right, he's Claudio Casanoli. All right, get it, get it straight. Don't disrespect the man. It's Claudio, at least for short. Call him Claudio. All right, kids, and uh, well, Preston. He almost pins Orange Cassidy. Doesn't get it because Roosh interrupts. Roosh in the match is very brutal. 
very technical. Yeah, I think there's one spot where uh, Orange Cassidy jumps off the top rope and Rouge headbutts him. Just he he, he felt the horns. All right, usually it's the legs, but this time it was the a uh, headbutt to the chest. Kind of reminds me of uh, that one Russian guy from WWE. Man, I forget his name. I just know he would he, he couldn't pronounce WWE. He would say W W E. If you guys know his name, it's put it down in the comment section. But yeah, you you guys know. Stop lying. You guys know. Well, all I know is Cassidy he pins Preston, the uh, number ten for all of you guys who don't know, and he pins him. And as he's pinning him, he has his trademark hands in his pockets. A uh, way to bury the competition. I get that. That's your gimmick. I understand. Pressing over here. He's looking like the Hulk. And you are looking like a malnourished Spider-Man. And yet you're pinning him. Pressing as I see it, is You're not helping him. Not helping him that much. But hey, I'm not Tony Khan. Tony Khan's booking this. Uh, I just I I don't understand. Uh, I just I don't. I I forgot the. I, I I what what is there to be positive? What's the, what's the positive? What what nice things could I say about Rampage? All right, this is this is why I had to be here. This is why. New York Joe had to be here because Agent Erie, he's a mock. He's a, he's always pro Tony Khan most of the time. And I just, I had to tell him the truth. I have to be ruthless. I try to be a fan of AEW and then they do this stuff. Okay, there are certain people that I'll try to defend. I'll, I'm going to be defending that hill. For a long time. Especially all these losers who are talking about Marina Shafir. Lots of man children. Talking mad smack about her. I don't appreciate it. You guys don't understand talent. Oh, well, I mean. Can it really be a surprise these guys don't understand talent. We have some dude who's bald. You have these two other dudes who obviously stay in their little room, play the little potties with their dolls, and then uh, commit acts of flatulence. Uh, you look at my videos, you'll understand what I mean. Alright people, that was AW Rampage. I'm pretty sure there's some other stuff in there that... Uh, that you guys might consider highlights. I just. I can't remember them. Because to tell you the truth. These were the most important aspects of Rampage that night. And it's just. It's, it's the only thing I could remember. Alright then. You guys have a good one. All my haters cry yourself to sleep. Like, subscribe, comment. Bye.